Hello. Hello. Happy Easter. Uh, for whom that's a interesting thing. Uh, no, joke. Yo, uh, today I have another Mauerstel in the house. Uh, the Ingvi Malmsteen monster friend, my friend with the Marshalls, has it and uh, I think he's got two of them. Uh, you, it's a hundred watt super lead, let's say. Uh, don't, don't know if it's hand wired. I don't think it's hand wired. And has some uh, features in it, which is the the Ingvi Malmsteen boost, which I think should be something like a DOD 250 or old, old school uh, overdrive distortion, a noise gate together with the boost and uh, a master volume. Master volume is cool. Uh, in the intro I played it with the boost of the amp. I personally would prefer using different boosts, which I show you in a minute. Uh, that's the sound with the built-in boost. Uh, what do I have here? Volume, lead volume, left, upper left, is about eight, three quarters. Uh, the rest is kind of noon. Yes, kind of noon, which sounds like this. <laughs> sound. Uh, I'm glad about the master volume because it's really loud <laughs> and I would say sound is okay. I have it on half I think on, in the back, the master volume. Uh, now let's try the same in the front and uh, I turn off the boost a minute. Okay. I didn't connect the foot switch. So, that's the clean sound. sound, which is fun if you use a Les Paul. I would be fine with it. Yeah, or maybe a little bit boost. Uh, let's try the solo targets. <laughs> That's a really cool, yeah, sorry Douglas, sure. And even more, if you want even more, uh, uh, for instance, let's try the King of Tone, the boost side. Mm -hmm. 
which we know. Uh, yo, even more would be with the SD9. <laughs> If you want this dirty sound, uh, let's try another pick. Because most of the time you hear me playing with my special hair dim. But let's take the super heavy. Makes it a little more smooth. <laughs> Fender extra heavy. <laughs> the king of tone you know, you see for me i would prefer choosing my own boost so uh if you're lucky and have this amp that's cool because nowadays they are very expensive because it's a limited run so it's the same with the uh the satriani or the slash or the randy roads yeah, but if you can get one uh, for decent money, why not? Uh, otherwise, you would be fine with any uh, 100 watt super lead ratio, which does the same. Let's say they're all different, but they're all not bad. That's the good thing. Uh, I have not very much experience with uh, reissues. I personally have my 71 the real thing uh, the good thing is the master volume if you don't have a master volume on a for for input old marshall if it's a 50 or 100 it's they are all very loud uh, i i even can uh, have have troubles recording it because i use this neve preamp 
which is, <laughs> if you put uh, uh, what I always do, uh, 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 a Shure SM57 in front of the black bag in my red 4x12 cabinet, uh, I'm in trouble because I can turn everything and it's still uh, distorting. So I have to use, or I would have to use another preamp. But with a master volume, you are fine. It's still very loud and I don't think it's a, a bad sound. So that's the only advantage of a master volume on this really loud 100 watt amps. Otherwise they are cool. Or you use them as a clean pedal platform, which is possible. Let's try it. Uh, let's go into the right, the bass channel, turn everything a little down. Uh, what's, what do we have here? Clean, yeah. And, you know, take the tube saw. Oh, sorry, the solo door is up. I'll turn it off. That's uh, less volume, sure. Uh, and it would be better for me because using some uh, distortion like the tube saw, for instance, uh, I don't like the amp too, too crunchy. Let's see. If we can go up to a level. So uh, I think I did it often, uh, taming the beast, as as we can call it. If you if you have absolutely no chance for cranking the amp, which happens, uh, then you are fine with any pedal, uh, which does the job, distortion, uh, and it's still a martial sound. I I have to tell uh, you can say oh, don't need a martial for, for for playing clean. No, don't say this. It's still this uh, special kind of crunch, which you don't get so easy on every kind of aim. <laughs> It's more distortion. It's not the vintage kind of distortion, which is sometimes really cool. Uh, it's the, let's say, anything up. Uh, it's not. It's still not metal, <laughs> but it's very uh, distorted hard rock sounds. Metal either. Metal either. Yo, okay, then let's say. Thank you for the donations. Yeah, thank you for the donations. We, uh, we can really, we really appreciate, uh, thanks. And let's do next time, what can we, maybe I have next time, I, I, I ordered a Gretsch. Gretsch oh. in the house. Melkholm Gretsch? No, not really a Melkholm one, but a similar one. The real Melkholm one is, yeah, signature, it's too expensive. But if you, it's, it's, it's a similar one, it's the similar, kind of body and neck and uh, yo if you if, if, if I would make it really make or my I could put out the neck pickup let's see let's do this <laughs> let's put out the neck pickup and may, maybe change the pickup because I'm not really into crash uh, but this kind of see the, 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 the what is it called uh, the pickup the real one uh, let's let's do a little bit uh, surgery on this okay see you next time bye bye